so it is Tuesday afternoon and I am down here next to the Marble Nut House. I am getting ready to go and interview some people and ask them their thoughts. Not a very big crowd. That's for sure. <laughs> Not a very big crowd at all, actually. Of course I'm here. I'm an American citizen. Nobody's going to tell me I can't go anywhere. This is our building. <laughs> you want to see what they have to say? Why are they all sitting down? We've got, we do have some Timber Unity people down here. I'm not the only one who's down here checking to see what these crazy are on the Sage are. Wonder live stream down here. One of my viewers here. <laughs> hi, everybody. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Angela Roman for Congress. I put my hat in. No kidding. Well, high five on that. <laughs> wow. How, how do you like my... Uh, my makeshift uh, mic stand selfie oh, stick. Oh, I love there. it. I love it. <laughs> I'm jealous of my game. Right? <laughs> I just got my Android. <laughs> well, I'm, you can see, see, look, I tell you, my phone's broken. People don't believe me. Look at that. Isn't, this oh, is, yeah, yeah. Like 800 videos on this broken phone. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. Well, I was going to try to get close so I can hear what you're saying. I know. That's right, I'm up in here. Uh, my ancestors fought as well. Doesn't matter what color they are. <laughs> Look it up, the American Revolution. <laughs> oh God, she's like AOC. The world's gonna end in 12 years. All I see is stuff about climate energy. I thought they were here demanding that our senators come back. Hmm. I wonder how many of them have jobs and where they work. I wonder if they're clean energy jobs. I think they do have programs. They have a garden there. They have volunteers. A lot of volunteers. Oh, <laughs> 
awfully angry. Notice that sign? You want to talk about a Senate coup? Why don't you ask Kay Brown about 2001? Yes, Kevin, I will see you at 6.30, and I don't get up early for nothing, but I will be up for that. Thanks for hanging in there. Because they're always, uh, this is what democracy looks like. 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 <laughs> I know, Leslie, right? What do we want? How about getting a regular job? I saw a lot of SUVs when I pulled up here. Doesn't seem very energy efficient to be driving SUVs and leaving their trash behind every time they're done protesting. <laughs> I would like to point out that this is a republic, not a democracy. <laughs> I was dancing with my folks here. And I had oh, I want in. Yeah. Of course, we're country dancing. I'm from Texas, right? Right? Climate justice. Look at this boy. Hold on, hold on. Look at this boy with a sign about jobs. He ain't even old enough to have a job. Have you heard the climate justice line? I've not. What is climate justice? I mean, I would like to see justice for people that are locked up unjustly for things like marijuana and, you know, stuff like that. Climate justice? I don't know. Are they going to arrest me because I, my carbon footprint's too big? One thing I can say is that. I mean, last week it rained and then it, you know, it was sunny. Well, it's called weather. One thing I have over a lot of these folks is that I put my money where my mouth is. I may not agree with the legislation, but I have the smallest carbon footprint of any of them. I've been living in a van for two years, yeah. and now I live in a, a tiny cabin in the Texas outback, and I make my own electricity from solar power. Nice. And I've been living off grid for three months, so I put I'm my, jealous. I put my, uh, you know, I, I walk the walk. I don't just talk the talk. So most of these people are wanting climate justice. Or driving their, SUVs. Right, they're going to get in their air conditioned the car and they're going to go to their big house with air conditioning and they're going to sit down and play video games. And, you know, they're going right? to have every light in the house on, you know. <laughs> yeah. Let me see the tiny home in the wilderness that they live in. Right, right, right. Yeah, I live in 420 square feet, so. No hot pockets, no peace. <laughs> What? what are your people saying? I can't even see mine because of the glare. <laughs> no hot pockets. No, no hot pockets, peace. no peace. That's hilarious. <laughs> Tell the folks your name again. They're asking. My name is Angela Roman, and I'm running for Oregon's 5th Congressional District. Not only have I seen the craziness from the inside out, but I continue to involve myself in the craziness to stand up for all Americans. Even if you can't vote for me, I can vote for you when I'm in D.C. So spread my campaign, spread my name. Awesome. God bless you. I, I know her because um, I saw her completely 
fucking Antifa guy. Like, she just beat him down. Like, the stuff she said, I don't know. It's like the worst thing my sister ever said to me, uh, like, but on steroids. So, yeah, he felt this big when it was done. So, she ought to go up there to, to D.C. and kick some butt. So. You see this right here? <laughs> What, what Last Friday night at the bar that I work the, at. The knuckle buster? Uh, there was a gentleman who decided he was going to put a cigarette out on his girlfriend's face. So, Ouch. you should see the other guy. I don't just talk Ouch. about standing up for women, I actually do it. You might break your little pinky. You That's might all right. break your thumb. Bones heal. I want my <laughs> They're singing now. You know, that's my wheelhouse. <laughs> well, that's like what I do. <laughs> this man is incredible. What's your name again? Give everybody your info so they can oh, follow you. Sage Wonder on YouTube. Sage, Sage Wonder, Wonder on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, I'm kind of all over the story right now. Just I'm here. Yeah. First I'm time I ever met him, he already knew me before I knew him because he had seen my infamous video of getting in Antifa's face. <laughs> it's more a beatbox. <laughs> she brought my bongos, man. <laughs> Have my bongo show up in here. Are those environment friendly I'm, bongos? I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm I want to know. I want to know why he pointed out that uh, there's a lot of black and brown people here, and that their ancestors fought for their right to do this. Why does it even matter what color they are? But I have ancestors you, that fought too, but I don't bring up their color. Did you hear the news? Ancestry DNA told me I'm three percent black. So suddenly, so many things make sense in my life. I, I never could play basketball though. Email me for your reparations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to pay the reparations or not. Maybe it's a three percent discount. <laughs> oh my God, the llama! Awesome. The llama is back. It's a llama, mama. They were here for an anti-Second Amendment gun rally, and I asked them, "Is this a Democratic llama?" And they said, "No." I busted him. I'm gonna ask him about it too. Look at the llama, y'all. <laughs> I wonder if they actually spit. I think Hi. this is a nice thing. I don't know if you remember me. You actually had this llama down here when there was an anti-Second Amendment gun rally going on. And I had asked you, is this some kind of Democratic llama? And you told me that he has no position, but yet I see you at all the Democratic events. Okay, so the, the point is, we, uh, he, he and himself was his choice. Uh huh. So you're choosing for him to be Democrat. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> there, I solved the llama mystery. <laughs> oh, watch out, we got cholos. So I'm confused. I thought this was supposed to be a rally for them demanding our senators to come back, but it just looks like another climate change rally. No more corporates, yet who's funding this? Nine different far-left agencies, including Planned Parenthood. Come on. <laughs> the hypocrisy is just beyond comprehensible. And that's why y'all roll in in buses. <laughs> Thank you for being here. These people are insane. <laughs> Let it 
I saw a lot of SUVs driving up here, just saying. <laughs> yeah, like SUVs and trucks and stuff for all the climate justice people. They're getting their exercise. Uh, damn time. <laughs> they should be screaming that their own government isn't even trying to listen to anybody's voice. But hey, you know, why talk about tyranny when we can talk about shit that don't matter. <laughs> Peter Courtney has pissed off his own people. Neither is the Second Amendment. in fast food or some kind of job that's not energy, if they even have a job. Can I see your sign? I love it. Oh, come here, baby. Oh my gosh, look at his eyes. Oh my goodness, I love you. Oh. Where's Timber? Timber's in Pendleton with Dad. Aww. See y'all, I'm not the only one that was brave enough to come down here. You know, this is our building, no matter what side of the fence you're on, and we all have the right to be here. I have the right to question. They have the right to question me. I ain't scared. Come here, Wood. Don't take care of about uh, I mean, 15 cents for a gallon of gas. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Isn't it? Frustrating when the legislatures just leave. Super frustrating. How how does anything get done, right? Like in 2001, when Kay Brown, when she was the Senate Minority Leader, she led a walkout for more than five days. That had to have been frustrating. Completely agree. Completely agree. Unfortunately, when you have a party, one party rule, they turn into bullies. And this is the only tool left in the toolbox. That's a tool that should be taken out of the toolbox. Either side. Well, we elect those people to represent us. We elect those people to represent us, and if our if we're not being satisfied and our needs are not being met, then I fully support them walking out and standing and speaking for me. Yeah, I don't. If the tables were flipped, though, like they were in 2001. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See, I respect the old school Democrats, but unfortunately, we've got to tell you, 
I'm curious, they all say providing climate jobs, clean climate, clean energy jobs. What, what jobs is that consistent? There's many, many jobs. There's infrastructure jobs. Wind, 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 wind and solar are the fastest growing, highest paid jobs in the country right now. There's um, infrastructure jobs. There's organic or small farms. Sustainable farming. Sustainable forestry. I mean, my friend owns a sustainable forest that is totally supporting this. It's really and how do you mean sustainable forestry? Do they log? Do they So they log, so that's an important part of it. But they don't do very much for the big machines for profit. They do it for the help of the forest. It will be their generation from now to us. So, you know, there's and the same thing with farmers that farm for a generation from now, not just for the farmers. So, this is all, you know, corporate money versus private people money. That's what it amounts to. Your jobs, well, thank you guys for talking. Right. I don't get that very well because I am a Republican, but that's fine. We're still people at the end of the day, and that's what it's going to take. We need, we need your party to sit down and have these conversations. Absolutely. Absolutely. But this is between money because that's what elected the Republicans now. Well, there's a lot of corporate money with Democrats too. I happen to know the nine groups that are fun that are running this, and I don't understand why Planned Parenthood is even involved. What does Planned Parenthood have to do with any of this? Well, well, it has nothing to do with climate. They beg for money to be funded, but they can have money to fund other other things. From Monsanto and corporate global interests that are actually running this country. Like George Soros giving Kate Brown an open door nation? George Soros? Yeah, I worked here in the 2017 Legislative Assembly when she was running again, and she openly took a huge donation from George Soros. So it goes both ways. It really does, ma'am. Can we do something about allergies? I want allergy affirmative action. Can we do that? <laughs> All right, y'all. I've had about enough of this that I can handle. I have to actually go to work. So uh, I'm going to work. You're going to work? I got to go. Isn't that it's funny? It's been great, but this was, deplorable has to actually go When they go were yelling, do your job, I was saying that I'm the only one out here. Me and the cops and the KGW <laughs> news people are the only ones actually at work. Yeah. I'm at work right now. Yeah. Because YouTube is my job. Of course, we got our Oregon push back here. I see those signs everywhere. I drove to Tillamook last weekend, was campaigning in Tillamook, and those signs are all over. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I've been talking about you know instead of war having a peaceful separation, but I don't think the people along the coast want to give way to this valley politics either. No, you know, they don't. I don't, don't think the fishermen out of Tillamook. I mean, plus there's a lot of loggers around Willamina. You know, they don't. They're not want to. They're not going to want to. To play this game, you know they're not going to want to give their their country over to these people. So. You know what? Tillamook is so beautiful, and they are clean and they're patriotic. There right, ain't right. No problems. I mean, I fell in love. Like I would move to Tillamook if I had the opportunity. And the cows are really happy. They I have mean, really happy cows. My kids weren't too thrilled with the smell and stuff, but I took them straight into Tillamook's the country. Tillamook's a dairy town, We're and that's where they make Tillamook cheese. Just so you. She has. I was like, I love it. And I'd rather smell that than the homeless. And I'm not sure all, who all's in here, but I think you're probably talking to several states and several foreign countries right now. Hi! <laughs> Oregon is beautiful. Please help us rid these crazy far, far leftists who are ruining our 
our state. So, what do you think? Do you think the uh, you think the militia is uh, was really serious about backing up the senator? Well, you know, I would hate to freak you out. I hope I don't get arrested or anything. Well, say what uh, you want, because we're on the right side. Why don't you uh, zoom 3%? in on that? Can you see that? I can't. This is so bad because I can't. There's a glare. She has an Oregon 3%. There is a 3%er down here at this Capitol, and as far as I know, I haven't inflicted violence on anybody. I've actually had quite a few peaceful conversations with people, so can we get rid of that narrative? Especially because a lot of our 3%ers are former military, first responders. We have current. We have current. We have current law enforcement in 3%. I don't know what this crazy woman was saying because she, she was being rude the way that they are. I'm actually an advocate for peace. I've been, I've been. You want to uh, talk about murder? Kate Brown murdered Lavoie Finnecum. Can we ta have that discussion? There's a sore spot right there. But Don't I, talk lately, to me about I want, I want to know what you think no, about this. Lately, I've been pushing the idea of peaceful separation. Like, let's just divide up by voter districts, and we'll just have se different countries, or we'll split states. You know, let's let Eastern Oregon join up with Idaho because and, and Eastern Washington, that, and let them we, have it. If we do that, and I've heard that a lot, but if we do that, I mean, the part that we leave to them is going to be the next Skid Row, like in LA. Skid Row is 50 blocks, and it has 4,200 homeless people, drug needles. Our law enforcement are coming down with typhoid fever that has already been eradicated. They bring in so much trash and disgusting with enabling drug users and providing needles and feeling bad and not doing anything for when you're walking by a homeless person taking a crap on the street. Enough is enough. But I mean, you know, is it to the point where we have to use, I mean, the two people are talking about using force. They're talking about this going to blows. I mean, there's a lot of rhetoric, rhetoric on both sides. And I'm essentially, hey, I'm a warrior monk. I'm prepared for war, but pray for peace. You know, I'm a, I'm a double black belt with a knife fetish. But um, I pray for peace. I always try to be a peace uh, peacemaker. The Bible says, uh, peace, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So that's like my goal. But at the same time, you know, where's the breaking point? How far are we from it? What what do you think? I could sum it up for you. I mean, how fed up are the 3% with all this crap? So, first of all, we are not the aggressors. We do not inflict violence. And the rhetoric that's going around in the media is just absolutely disgusting. Like I said, we are everyday blue collar, law enforcement, military, regular people who just care about our country and are sick of seeing the leftists shove it down the tube. And like my favorite founding father said, if war must come, may it come in my time so that my children may always know peace. So you sound like a lot of my uh, subscribers. I've lost some subscribers by being peaceful, but I also say this because I am a warrior. That oh, believe I, me, I, I, if, if it comes to my door, we're, we're going to get down. I see myself <laughs> like the Patriot in, uh, you know, in the Mel Gibson's Patriot. You know, he was the guy arguing against going to war with the British yeah. until it was at his doorstep, and then he turned it on full force. And yep. That's kind of me. Like I'm not going. I ain't, well, my son had a reputation for being a brawler in school, but they called him the finisher because he never started anything, but he, he always finished it. So hopefully we won't have to finish something. But well, and there's a saying in Texas, and pardon my French, if you got young children, close their ears up because I'm going to use a four-letter word. Because in Texas they say, don't start no shit and there won't be none. Right. And I think that's where we stand with the Eastern Oregon, now, Western Oregon. How is it in Texas? You know? I'm curious because here... If you are in school and you are getting bullied and a bully comes up and just hits you out of nowhere for no reason, if that child who got assaulted fights back, they are expelled and kicked out of school too. Our children are being punished for defending themselves. So in Texas, we have things called independent school districts, and they are very independent from their from their funding to their uh, their internal organization. And so every school district is different. In Dallas, you might have that kind of thing happening. Um, you know, I had an issue when I moved out into a small town called Perrin because when boys had a dis a disagreement, uh, they would just take them out behind the ag barn and let them fist fight. And so when my son whipped three of them at once and put two of them in the hospital, then they decided they want to do something to him. And I said, you know, you better be careful. I'm going to call the Dallas News and tell them you still let boys go out behind the ag, bar and, uh, ag barn and fist fight. So it just depends on which part of Texas you're talking about. Right. And, you know, they're, 
Texas is still mostly red, but you know the blue areas are growing. Yes, they are. And uh, you know, it's the plague. It's the new version of the plague. You know, everybody calls it cancer. I don't call it that anymore because you know I have friends who have cancer. And they don't ask for it. This is right. the plague. The plague was created when rats and filth was left to be able Demon to be rats. in the streets, and that's what we are facing right now. This is the plague. Don't call them Democrats. Don't call them leftists. Call them the plague. Call well, it what it is. From a historical perspective, I've got to say that you know if you studied the um, you know the communist takeovers, they kind of all start like this, and it may take a few years to wind up, but eventually, eventually they just take over. Yep. You know, as much as they're against guns, eventually well, they've they take done it up with arms. The media. Right. They've already done right. it with the media. You know, I guess they'd like to take over and, and it'd be bloodless, and I guess the only way it could be bloodless is if we just all rolled over and let them have it. But I yeah. don't see Eastern Oregon rolling over, and I don't see the rest of the country rolling over. And, um, you know, clearly I don't believe in, I don't believe in man climate change. There is news change. here, Channel 12. At the same time, I have the lowest carbon footprint of any person here. I defy anybody here. I defy anybody well, the, here to have a smaller carbon footprint than me. Well, the part that bothers me <laughs> is they sit there and say that, you know, we are the ones that are causing it. It's like uh, Republicans want a cleaner and better earth for our children too. We just have brains and understand how that needs to happen. This kind of stuff that they're pushing for is ridiculous. I heard a lady up there talking about, we only have 11 years left. She was like a miniature AOC. The world is not gonna end in 12 years. If God himself wanted to, he could throw another meteor down here and take us all out like he did the dinosaurs, okay? So no matter don't, how much don't, legislation don't. or funding or whatever you put <laughs> into it, it's something that can't be controlled. What we can control is the homelessness, the drug and alcohol, the mental health, all of that. We can control that. I just don't believe there's any real scientific proof that global warming is a real thing or caused by humans. Uh, in fact, what we're seeing is, it's I like think, the a standard deviation. Is that gore? Well, you know, it's just like the earth sweats. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's what cold, the? like a menopausal woman. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's on the, sometimes it's having a hot flash. The earth had a hot flash for a while. It reversed. Now we're having a cold flash. But they don't, they just, they're still hung up on the data from a few years ago when it's already reversed and on a cooling trend. And everybody knows that. Now, some of my people are saying that, you know, the chemtrails are what's causing it. If it's man-made, maybe they're the ones making it, right? Yeah. They're blaming it on us. I don't know. They got the PA system on. Let's go see what they're talking about. You got to go to work? Yeah, this Show deplorable. Again. This deplorable has to go. Angela Roman for Congress.com. Angela Roman for Congress. Make sure both of her. She's, uh, she definitely can talk up a blue streak. Hands, like you got down, the now. hands down, I know legislation, but I am just a regular person, and we need to bring this government back to we the people for the people, and that's something that I'll bring, and I will stand up to AOC and Pelosi because uh, <laughs> that's just who I am. <laughs> Love you, boo. <laughs> All right, y'all. I gotta get going. I actually have a job to go to. Are you?